he influenced you significantly to shape your life. Uh, I know that behind every man's success, there's a group of people. Uh, My wife had an expression, behind every good man is another behind, meaning the wife. In any case, um, a, a few people. I would say the first major imp person who, who guided me was, as I mentioned before, is the president of Bonmotella. He was a Irish immigrant who spoke with the brogue, and he was, Adam Gibble recommended him to run this business to the family who owned Bonwitz, and he was a people person, knew everybody. As a matter of fact, I think I mentioned in the book, when one of the customer service lost their customer list, he called Jim Farley, who was the Irish Mafia, he was the Postmaster General, he called Mayor LaGuardia, and that book was found within an hour. Don't talk to angels if you can talk to God. <laughs> another, another example. He was the first one. However, my wife and her family really inspired me. My wife's family had a small leather, leather goods business, uh, like Mark Cross, in Providence. And her father was a wonderful merchant who worked very hard. My wife was a buyer there, worked very hard. And we're married now 59 years and she's always been an inspiration to me. It's most important that your partner in life, you both agree. Uh, in retailing, as you know, how to travel, 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 and she understood because she had been a buyer of what, what we went through. The next person who was most impressive was Beatrice Fox Auerbach. This is, I think there are 30 pages in this book about her. She took over this major business in Hartford, a store as big as Bloomingdale's, and she said, I want the store run like I'd run my home, neat, clean, orderly, and service. And I mentioned at the lecture, I had whip marks on my back every day. Mr. Nemark, let's go through the store together, do this, do this, do this. I worked for 10 years. And I think of all the people I've ever worked for, she knew more about how to run a store, how to run a store than anyone else I've met. Passion, dedicated to making this thing right. Uh, you mentioned that who had tremendous influence to you, the Bill Holmes. Uh, who told you, uh, who guided you to go into merchandising versus going into advertising uh, because he was mentioning that you can make actually serious money uh, in merchandising than advertising. Well, it, it was important and it's interesting because I have a granddaughter who works for Hermes and she's doing a good job and she's impatient. What happens next? And I said, relax, because here's what happened. I was the office boy running around, very popular at that point, and I heard the advertising department was open for a runner. I was only 18 and I didn't get the job. And I was very disappointed, and the word got to the boss, I was disappointed. That's when he called me in, and he had his eye, eye on where he thought I would go eventually. I thought it was his protege. I found this out later. Um, he said, merchandising where th is where the money is, and if you're really good, you'll be the president of a store, and advertising will report to you. So somewhere in the book here, I mentioned, when I cut out to Bergdorf, finally advertising reported to me, and you have to have people recommend, some, someone you believe in, say, here's the path to take. I don't think young people on their own can make that decision as easily without having it reinforced with someone who's already been there. And if you don't pay attention to older people who've been there, pay, listen to them, you may want to change your ideas. But I found that Beatrice Fox Auerbach, when you asked me, I moved from, Hart from Providence to Hartford, Connecticut, for a nice little business, this big store. And two years later, she said, I want you to run my other store. I was furious, and I wasn't going to do it. I went to my mentor, who was very old and retired, and he said, she's asked you to do something for her that's very important. If you don't do it, she'll never forget that you turned her down. And I, had, I hadn't thought of it. I, I, I was 40. I hadn't thought of it that way. Just, this isn't for me. I don't want it. And as a mentor, he turned around and said, this, you're doing, she, if you don't do it for her now, then she's going to remember that and she'll always remember that. And once I did do it and I got the store back to where it should be, then I knew she would back me up. As a matter of fact, she backed me up to the point when May Company bought the store. They wanted to put a new CEO, a new GMM in, move me out. May Company is notorious for moving people. And she said, no way. I have him. He's here. And she kept me there. That would have changed my career tremendously. So by listening to a mentor, Bill Holmes, saying she wants to do this and doing it, my whole career went in the right direction.